Pile number one, how does your crush view you? Okay, so I'm picking up on this may be a new crush. This may be someone that you do not know. This may be someone who is an earth sign. Uh, and I'm also hearing Cancer and Libra. Um, this person likes to look at you when you're not looking. You know, this gives genuine crush. Uh, I'm seeing a break room maybe. So maybe if you are on your break or something like that, this is someone who likes to look at you while you're not looking. Um, others of you, it does not have to be a new crush, but for some of you, it is. Uh, the way that your crush views you, they see you as a hard worker. They, they, <laughs> I heard the grind don't stop. Yeah, they see you as a hard worker. They see you as like a hustler or something like that. Or, um, yeah, pile number one is going to make it happen. This is something, something that they like about you. Also, your crush may talk fast because I feel like I'm trying to get my words out faster than they're coming out. This is someone who is always checking you out. And when I say always, I mean always, okay? Now, for some of you, this is a crush that's online. If this is a crush that's online, this is someone who is always looking at your pictures. They may have screenshotted some of your pictures just so they can go into their own personal gallery and look at your picture. <laughs> You know, like, yeah, for sure. This is like, yeah, they like look at your pictures when they don't, when they don't feel good or like, I, I guess to make them feel better is what I'm trying to say. Cause I'm like, what? <laughs> but this is someone who looks at your pictures to help boost their day, their morale for the day, you know? Something to do with your eyes here. They love your eyes. Um, how does your crush view you? Like I said, they view you as a boss, a hard worker, someone who's going to make it happen in their life, period. And I'm hearing can't stop, won't stop. Okay. This is the type of energy that your crush feels about you, though. They're like, they like that about you. You're someone who's really dependable. They feel like, and that turns this person on, the fact that you're so dependable. They're like, please, please come over here with all that reliable and dependable energy. Please, I want it. I want you. I like you. This is someone who is like googly-eyed over you, you know? They talk about you a lot to their friends. They, I heard they try not to talk about you so much. Yeah, they try not to talk about you so much. Maybe they've already talked about you a lot and their friends are like, all right now. Talk about power, power one one more time. <laughs> but they can't stop. They're so excited and aroused by you. They're so excited though. They're so excited. They get this feeling whenever they think about you, whenever they talk about you, whenever it comes to you, pile number one, you're like the only other person in the world with them. That's how they feel. They're like these other people, they're not even here. They're simulations. It's only me and pal two here. Really? For real? You know? <laughs> it's only me and pal two in the world. That's it. That's how this person feels about you, pal number one. Mm-hmm. And this is someone, <laughs> yeah, okay. How do they view you? How do they view you? Um, constantly, they view you constantly. Clarify this page of swords, please. How do they view my pile number ones? Spirit, how do they view my pile number ones? Yeah, okay, so we got the devil here. Um, oh, there's something about you. I think this person may perceive you to be a touch bit toxic. Okay, they. I think that they do. They do a little bit. It... Ooh, I heard your toxic matches my toxic. Mm, okay, well, that's what I heard. So listen, that's how they feel. <laughs> that's how they feel, and then it's being cleared up, right? Because they they're they're feeling like maybe it, they they want to heal with you. Yeah, this per. <laughs> this person they're like yeah but like at the end of the day like i really want to heal and grow and um you know move forward and do things like that like healing work with you because they can see you or you can see them or something like that um 
yeah how they view you pile number one this person views you as um someone that they have got to have they have got to have you they have to have you they'll do what they gotta do to have you um hmm. your crush views you as so sexy they feel like you are just very very like uh sensual even or everything about you and your aura reminds them of like a soft caress on this caress on the skin or like poetry or like a beautiful day sitting out in nature playing the guitar you know that's how your crush views you. They view you like that. They feel like that's what your aura is like. And they cannot wait until they're able to be around you again. Maybe you haven't, maybe you see your crush. Uh, I mean, for some of you, I did say that you work with them. So you do see them kind of a lot. Um, others of you, this may be you working with them, but you guys don't actually go to a place to work. You know, maybe this is online or something like that. Um, others of you. This is someone that you see um, because they can't wait to see you again. They cannot wait to see you again. They just, this person, they get excited. They get like untamably excited is what I heard. When they know that you're coming around or if you say that you're on your way or if y'all plan a day or when they know they're gonna see you next, they're like, I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, duh. This person loves the way that you talk. They love the way that your voice sounds. They feel like your energy is just so soothing, so magnetic, so sensual, so everything that they want in their life okay <laughs> the person that i'm speaking on the way that they talk is very like mm, i want to say demanding or like very this and not that i want it this way and not that way like i don't know what that even is but listen that's just what came to mind <laughs> that's how they talk um very clear very straightforward that's how this that's how your crush is okay just to give you a little clarity on who this person is but the way that this person views you is that you are um i heard one of a kind one in a million you know this person they really really like you um and they just enjoy you and your time and your energy and um there's something about this reliable or dependable energy that you have that they admire and they just they're crushing on it they're like they they have the biggest crush on you and something about that energy just really like solidifies the crush they're like yes because my crush is solid you know like that's how they feel about you and that's how they view you okay pile number one so that's what i got for you this reading will be extended over in the extended we're gonna figure out how do they feel about you okay so maybe over there if you're interested please like please comment definitely subscribe to become a raindrop know that i love you on a soul level peace how to how does your crush view you um oh so yeah your crush um views you as a star okay uh when i <laughs> And I haven't heard this song in a minute. Um, I heard I'm a Star by Jeremiah. Jeremiah? Jeremiah? I forget how you pronounce his name, but yeah, they feel like you're a star. That's how your crush views you. Your crush views you as someone who is poetic, someone who enjoys creativity and create creative things and um spending time alone they view you as a loner a star that's a loner right that's how they view you though 
um, a star that can just go off the grid and be okay but everybody still loves them and wants to see them and like is obsessed with them you know like that they view you like that they view you like a star maybe you are a star well you are a star pal too but I feel like maybe you are on a platform of some sort or maybe you have a lot of eyes on you in some way shape or form um, your, your crush enjoys talking to you with other people who know you you know they they really do your crush oh your crush likes you so much your crush enjoys talking to you they they're always if they're not always reaching out to you then this is something that they would love to do maybe they don't have your number depending on if they do have your number and if you're in communication with this person they're always reaching out or you guys are always in communication or there's something like that like i'm getting the imagery of like text messages or dms or uh just communication maybe even phone calls facetimes um yeah yeah i mean your crush loves the fact that they can do that if they can do that how does your crush view you they love the way that you speak they feel like you have like your verbiage is spectacular they love the way that you speak they they feel like you're an excellent communicator they feel like you are um just like really good <laughs> you're really good at what you do whatever it is that you do um they see you as someone who is so enlightened, so, um, I mean, smart, but like, you know, there's a better word than that, just intelligent. You're very like, you, you, your crush views you as someone who always has the answer. You know, they do. You know how to get it or something like that. Like you are, you could be into tarot or energy reading or I mean you're here so you're into it but you could do it and um just the words that you use are just like so poetic poetic is the word for you pal number two they feel like you're very poetic how do they view my pile number twos I'm gonna clarify this eight of wands please very enlightened though heavy on like you're connected to spirit you're connected to god you like you help them see the world a different way you open their eyes to new realities in the world you know and they really like that about you clarify this eight of wands please mm-hmm your crush views you as someone who is very, very good at speaking. I said this already, but you're really good at speaking and getting your point across and, and, and speaking in a way that um, adds boundaries or you know how to have boundaries in your life and you know how to speak on them, right? You know how to speak on them and you know how to implement these boundaries in your life. And they like that about you. I heard they're taking notes. Like, yeah, if you are offered something that you just don't want, or if you are offered something that's just, you know, not enough for my pile number twos, you know how to speak to that. You know how to um, not take a low offer or not take something that's just simply not for you, but it's the words that you use. That's what's really being highlighted here. It's the way that you communicate. Um, how you know how to get what you want without being rude or saying the wrong thing that right there they love that this is how your crush views you they view you in that way where you're just so good with your boundaries you're so good with speaking you know they feel like even with them and maybe you have done this with them where you kind of told them what you wanted and the way that you did it was just like really like it made them look at you as a really good communicator because they didn't feel like you were speaking to harm them or anything like that. You just said it so beautifully. Whatever it is you said, what did you say? What did you say to them? 
how does um uh, my pal choose crush view them last card how does my pal choose crush view them picking up on hockey here so tell me how that resonates for you Your crush, my yeah, your crush views you as someone who whose focus is on something else. Like your focus is on something like growing something, building something. Um whatever your focus is on, they really like that. They like it about you. Your crush does feel like they wish that you were more focused on them, but at the same time, they don't mind it because whatever it is you're focused on, maybe this is just building your life, building the life that you want to see, you know? Whatever it is that you're focused on, they love that you focus on that. They love that um, you focus on that. And then I have this Queen of Wands down here, and that's really... There's something here to do with um, your looks, right? Your crush feels like you are gorgeous. Your crush feel uh, like they feel... I'm picking up on your hair. You have really beautiful hair or long hair or something like that. But there's something here to do with your looks here where... It's like you don't... Don't... You have this like duality, right? You have this like homebody nature to you but then you also got this other side where you pop out you know and then you are this star i mean you are that star either way but there's something to do with that duality here this person finds you to be beautiful in in anything that you put on or you know anything that you take off they find you to be beautiful they feel like you are just so beautiful okay like <laughs> you're really really beautiful but for real this is how they feel um they see you as how do they view you like the star of the show that's the type of energy that you're giving here pile number two like showstopper energy this is how they feel they feel like you give that energy and they view you like this Your crush views you as not fully seeing everything about yourself. But it's a really, really cute energy. They like, really like that about you. And maybe you do, maybe you do, but like, this is how they see you or view you. There's a shyness here with you, pile number two, that they completely adore yeah adore is the word your crush adores you they adore you you are someone who's very sexy you know your crush views you as someone who's very sexy right but they they see something else in you of course they see you how other people see you but they see the shyness or like they see this like shy side that they adore they're like that is so cute <laughs> So cute to me you know where I feel like I don't know maybe people see you in one way pile number two again I did mention like this showstopper type of energy right so of course if that's your energy this is how people see you but the, your crush though they see that because like how could you not but like there's something about you that is just so adorable to them where they're just like come here like give me a like give me a hug hold my hand you know, like, <laughs> no, they just, they're like, uh, it's this, this something in you that they see. Okay. I can't get it out. I just keep saying the same thing. So, but they, they see, they find you to be very adorable. Adorable is definitely the word. Um, but that's what I've got for you. Pile number two. This is how your crush views you. This reading will be extended. Over in the extended, we will figure out how do they feel about you. Okay, so meet me over there. Please like, please comment, definitely subscribe to become a raindrop. Know that I love you on a soul level.
Peace. How does your crush view you, pal three? Your crush views you as someone who's not afraid to take new risks. Even if you're scared, even if you're nervous, even if you feel like you won't even do it, you do it and they like that. They feel like you're fearless. Your crush views you as being very fearless. And that's one thing that they really like about you. This person here, your crush feels like by your side, they can do anything in the world. With you by their side, they can take on any, any, anything. I heard, who gonna stop me? Okay, that's how they feel when they're by you. Now listen, when they're by themselves, I don't know. But when they're with you though, they're like, who is gonna stop me? Because can't nobody stop me, I'm with my crush. <laughs> You know, that's how they feel. They view you as someone who is very fair, very just. You like to help, you like to give back, you like to do things for people, you like to help people. And in, in whatever way that you can, and your crush loves that about you. They view you as someone who's very helpful and fearless. And you have really nice legs. They view you as someone who's really stylish. They really love your legs, Pow 3. They like when you wear things where your legs are out. Like a dress or a skirt or something like that. Or anything where your legs are out, really. Maybe they've seen you in a dress or a skirt. And that's why I'm bringing that up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your crush views you as someone who they will have the time of their lives with. Or like you know like the rest of your lives together will be just amazing that's how they view you it's really grand like that it's very like grandiose they feel like you do things really big another reason why they feel so fearless by you how does my pal number one's crush view them clarify the fool please Okay. Mm -hmm. They view you as someone who who doesn't really ever get scared or like someone who doesn't ever show that vulnerable side of them. Yeah, they view you as someone who's not very vulnerable. They would love to see that side of you though. They feel like you showing them your vulnerable side is you saying to them that you trust them you're not one to to let down your guard very easily this is how they view you but you set this tone or make a safe space for other people too but you don't but even in that, there's some comfort in that. They're like, that's okay. You know, let me just tell you about my life. You know, <laughs> let me just tell you about what's going on with me. You know, and they feel like eventually you'll get there. Eventually you'll you'll show a little bit more of that vulnerability. I think it's a, a trust thing. Your, your crush, yeah, your crush, your crush sees you as someone who does not trust easily. You don't. Yeah, your crush sees you. They view you as someone who's maybe gone through some like real tough times or real tough things or things that they probably can't even imagine. But like, because it's the way that you're fearless. It's like something about you being so fearless lets them know that you have had to go through some crazy things or maybe not crazy, right? Take it how it resonates, but some very deep things or things that really uh, changed you and molded you as a person. And that's why you're able to, you have such a capacity for people. Like you, you like have such a capacity for people. Like you don't really show much or show your emotions too much, but like you got a perfect message for people who are showing their emotions or who are opening up to, 
to to them to you right this is how they view you yeah it's just kind of like whatever turned them into the person that they are that i see right now that i have a crush on they 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 love child what was i even going with that thought they just they're really happy to get this version of you that's really what i'm trying to say that's that's what i'm trying to say they're really happy to get this version of you because this version of you is unstoppable this version of you is like what can't nobody stop pile three you know that's how they feel and that's how they view you they view you as someone who knows their worth and um knows how to walk away and say no to things that just don't serve you you're very abundant You can make anything out of thin air or have anything happen. Maybe you're really good at manifesting things. Yeah, that's how they view you, pile number three. So that's what I got for you. Please like, please comment. Definitely subscribe. This reading will be extended. Over in the extended, it will be how does your crush feel about you, okay? Go and check it out. Know that I love you on a soul level. Peace.